This is number six from the 2013 Calc AB exam, and it is a separable differential equation problem. Um, so, first thing we're told is dy dx is e to the y times the quantity 3x squared minus 6x, and then uh, everything we're going to do is about the initial, uh, the particular solution that goes through the initial condition, uh, 1, 0. So, the first thing we have to do is write the equation of the tangent line. So, to do that, we're going to need to know the slope. So that means we need to evaluate dy dx at the point 1, 0. So I get e to the 0, um, substituting in for y, and then the quantity 3 minus 6, because x is 1, so it just becomes 3 minus 6. That gives me negative 3. Um, and I also know it goes through the point 1, 0, so now I can write the tangent line. So y minus 0 equals uh, negative 3, the quantity x minus 1. And then what I do is... I'm told to approximate f of 1.2. So uh, that's not very hard to do. What I'm guessing is they want to see an approximately equal to sign. Maybe know that you show them that you know you need to do that. So f of 1.2 is approximately uh, negative 3 times 1.2 minus 1, which you could stop at, or you could go with uh, negative 0.6. Um, so 0.2 times negative 3. All right, um, that's part A. So now let's take a look at part B, which is to find the particular solution that actually passes through 1, 0. Um, and this isn't so bad. Um, everyone that just took the exam informed me that they forgot how to find the antiderivative of dy over e to the y, which didn't make me all that happy. I'm going to rearrange this to get this. Um, I think everyone, when they see e to the y, thinks they're going to get a a natural log immediately when they find an antiderivative, but that's not the case. Um, we put in the antiderivative, and so the antiderivative of e to the negative y is negative e to the negative y, right? You can do a u substitution, u equals negative y, which means that du is negative dy, so you need that negative. Um, and then on the right-hand side, of course, it's just uh, reversing the power rule. Uh, now we'll solve for c. So we, we knew the point uh, 1, 0, and we substitute them. We get negative 1 equals 1 minus 3 plus c, so c is 1. And now I'm going to move to a new slide. Let me recopy this stuff. So I have that. So now I can actually write um, negative e to the negative y. So I'm going to substitute for c here. And I'm going to divide through by negative 1, or multiply both sides by negative 1, whichever you think you're doing. And so I need to get the variable out of the exponent. The only way to do that is take a natural log. So I'm going to take a natural log. Uh, it might bother you because you feel like you're taking the natural log of something negative, uh, but you're not because, remember, you have variables in there. So that just means that that quantity must be um, negative so that when we take the opposite of it, it ends up uh, positive. And then I'm going to, again, divide through by negative 1. So I end up with that as my solution. I want to try to find the domain, but I have this uh, sinking feeling that I won't be able to figure out on um, what domain containing the initial condition I get a continuous function. And the problem doesn't ask you for the domain, so in this case, I'm not going to worry about it, and I'm going to assume that I've done what was requested. So I hope you found that helpful. Good luck.